What do you like about Jordan Love, Dave McGinnis? He's got the physical attributes and the traits. He, he throws a real pretty ball. He really does. And when you watch what they did, you know, at Utah State, sometimes it didn't quite uh, relate to what he's going to do, but he's got the physical traits. He's not a guy that's going to get out there and just run, but he can maneuver the pocket. He has got so many recognizable traits that you look at that you know that you can develop. If somebody is a quarterback-hungry club, this is one guy that you would take after the top three. Mike, he has athletic skills galore. While he didn't answer all the questions at the combine in those drills about accuracy or decision-making, because that's only in game situation-specific stuff, he's got the measurables with the athletic part of it. Reminds us a lot of a Colin Kaepernick when he came out. What do you like about Justin Herbert from Oregon and Dave McGinnis? How high can he go in the first round? The fifth pick, I think, that to me is about his ceiling in this thing. He's got a really good arm. I mean, he's got the height. When you're at the Combine, and not only at the Combine, Mike, but you're listening to all the talk, some people try to take good attributes and try to ding holes in them. Now, some people are saying he might be too tall. It's just like somebody's too fast, you know, as a receiver. He's got the requisite skills. He's going to have to be developed. But I think that, that he could be a target for the Dolphins as high as the fifth pick. Washington's Jacob Eason is not on your list of first rounders. Why? First of all, huge arm. Big prototypical size quarterback kid. Former starter at Georgia. Mm -hmm. Gets hurt. Transfers. But the reports out of Indianapolis is that the interview process did not go well. The reason he's not in the top group, in my opinion, is two things. Accuracy and decision making. Those two things, to me, when I watch tape and look at him, he's got a big arm, but he's not accurate. And his decision-making that you can see on tape. To Coach Mack's point, more of a first-read guy, not a first, second, third-read guy and make a throw in terms of the decision-making and the accuracy part. Jake Fromm, what does he bring to the table, and does he figure to be a day-two pick in your opinion? He's a day-two pick in my opinion, but just on the opposite side of the spectrum from what we've just been talking about, that's why Jake Fromm ran off some starters, two of them in particular. And here's why. He's accurate. He's dependable. He's an excellent decision maker. He does not get rattled. He doesn't have great arm strength, but he's a distributor of the football. Is Oklahoma's Jalen Hurts almost a wild card in this quarterback draft? He absolutely is. And I think he was a guy that had something to prove going into Indianapolis because he's kind of the forgotten guy behind the tier of quarterbacks that we've been talking about. Measured in at 6'1", 222 pounds, hands 9 and 3 quarter inches, ran a 4'5", 440, fastest among quarterbacks. He is a leader. He is a team first guy. I mean, everyone knows what he did when he left Alabama and how he handled it so well, losing his starting job to Tua Tonga-Valoa and then going to Oklahoma and having a nice year there. I think he showed the arm strength and accuracy improvement in those drills in Indianapolis. But the biggest thing I like about him is, Mike, he's a winner. Mm -hmm. He knows how to win a football game. When you watched his workout, he exceeded what people thought he was going to do at the Combine workout. The quarterback coaches that I talked with up there, this is a perfect backup quarterback immediately in his career in the National Football League because he brings that element of athleticism that sometimes if you have to put him into a ball game, he can create plays. Some guys just have it as far as being able to move a team. He can do that. Quarterback named Steve Montez from Colorado. Where do you think he figures to be selected? Why do you like him? He's 6'4", 231 pounds. He ran a 4'6", got a 33 vertical jump, a 9'7", broad. So what I'm saying with these numbers, he's got athletic ability. He left Colorado with 9,569 yards passing. This guy is a high-character guy. He's got a thickly built lower to me. He's got a strong arm. The issues with him, he's got an elongated delivery. You're going to have to get that out of him. He's not a ready-made product, but he's got enough requisite physical skills, and then he's got production collegiately that you can look at, and at 6'4", 231 pounds, with that type of developmental characteristics, that's why he intrigues me. To me, he will be a second-day guy to somebody. Why is James Morgan a prospect to watch? He is prototypical size quarterback, 6'4", 229. Hands plenty big, 9 and 6 eighths inches, arms 33 and 3 eighths, wingspan 79 inches, gym rat, leader, team guy at Florida International where he was a two-year starter, had great showing there, had a good showing at the combine, showed the arm strength, he can throw it. He's one to watch. If you're saying you like a guy so much but you don't like him as your starter in 2020, you're going to redshirt him 
Who is it? The guy I would take to put on my team and to develop, because I know there's a lot there, is Jake Fromm. This kid's a leader. He's a quarterback in the National Football League. Jake Fromm has had a lot of reps yes, sir. In, in high school in the state of Georgia, which is great ball, and then in the Southeastern Conference as well. You, you love those guys who've played a lot of quarterback. You're not bringing him in to save your franchise, but you, you're bringing him in to might be able to guide your franchise after he's been simmered a little bit. Mm-hmm.